Hey guys, and welcome to what I believe is the best Defender build that you can have for a Virtual Pro. First up is um, the two builds for a Central Defender. For this you have to go Defender, Center, and Stopper. And the Stopper, as you can see, gives me a great sliding tackle and standing tackle, and I haven't done many defense or accomplishments. I think I've completed 8 at maximum. Now here I have great head accuracy and very good marking again. The two builds for this are 6 foot 6, 222 pounds, as this gives me great strength, a decent stamina, very good jumping and my reactions are quite good as well. You can go stocky to look bigger on the pitch which can sometimes put your opponents off. And this is the build for getting those headers in and just generally being a brick wall in defence. The second build is still a centre defensive stopper, but in this time we're going to go 5 foot 10 and 158 pounds. Now this build is for those defenders who like to get back and get the tackles in once the ball has been um, pl uh, played over the top, rather. And it helps to combat those pacey defenders, um, strikers, those pacey, helps to combat those pacey strikers and if you have a combination of the 6 foot 6 and 5 foot 10 defenders in your club you're probably going to be unstoppable in defence really. There will be occasions where it can mess up obviously but that's just due to communication errors. Um, as both of these builds you want acrobatic clearance, um, let me see what we got, bicycle kicks, don't know if that helps with clearing it. Driven pass, swerve pass, and skill dribbling. Because now I'll say skill dribbling because sometimes you can be in a bit of a mess and it can help you get out of those sticky situations. But that's it for the central defense, uh, the center backs, guys. So we'll just get rid of all of these. Um, and we'll go in. Now this is for the left and right back. Um, I've been t tying between the wing back and the full back. I would probably go wing back because you can. It doesn't affect just tackles. It just affects your marking by a little bit and your heading. But as a left back and a right back, you're not going to be heading the ball much. So I'd go a left wing back or a right wing back, and go um, five for eight, hundred and twenty-three pounds. Now, if you're playing as a right back, I would play right footed as it's easier to cross the ball in when you get up higher on in the pitch. For this, these setups, you will want the following classes. The second wind. Now, it can be seen as a pointless um, trait, but when you're getting up and down the pitch as much as the wing back will, that could help out a lot. You want early crosser as you'll be crossing the ball a lot in this. Swerve pass can help out a lot as well, along with skill dribbling as you'll want to get past those players to get those crosses in. With driven pass being our final trait. One, two, three. Well, yeah. Um, so that's it for the defender builds, guys. I know these have been short videos. If you haven't already, check out my striker, midfielder and goalkeeper builds. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.